And some breaking news, the long journey is over for over 200 passengers as they've arrived on a flight that was diverted to a Callowit from London Heathrow Airport, finally arriving here in Calgary. And joining me now, one of those passengers, Lynn Meadows. First of all, just A, how's it feel to be back? Oh, it feels great to be home. It was an awfully long flight back from London to Calgary, 24 hours, and I'd started the day in Venice. So it, it, just tell us what it was like when, when you knew something was wrong. What, what was the, the feeling like on the airplane? I was up front and just about to drift off to sleep and all of a sudden I heard the announcement, cabin crew forward immediately and every person on the crew ran forward to the front and a couple of minutes later um, we heard an announcement from the captain that we had to make an emergency landing. Uh, turned out that the cockpit was filled with smoke, the pilots were flying, barely being able to see and on oxygen. So. It happened so quickly, there wasn't really time for emotion, except for me, having been in the Calioit before and having a good friend there, it was a big treat in the end. We slept in army barracks overnight. Everybody was cooperative. British Airways and the Red Cross and the Calioit were incredibly good, and we're all so grateful. So I guess you're, you're happy with how uh, British Airways dealt with it, and you, they, they got a second plane to come get you? They got a rescue plane couldn't believe it. These two big dreamliners in Icalio, who doesn't often see the likes of that. Yeah, it was all well done, well managed, and we're all very grateful. Well, as I said, the 36-hour journey is over. All the passengers back in Calgary are visiting Calgary for the first time. They're back on the ground safe, reporting live from the Calgary International Airport, Michael Lumsden, City News.